waiting a second here. All right, here we are live, everybody. Good morning and welcome to the National Wake Up Call. I'm Sandy Buadana. Today is Monday, December 10th. What a great week we had last week with Transform 20 going on sale, plus those energized stick packs. Those are definitely coming in handy. It is a great time to be a Beachbody coach. Plus, this time of year, it's a great time to help others who are struggling with their health and finances. You know, I wrote something down today that really was interesting to me. It is the 50th week of the year, and we started doing these calls at the top of the year. So it is our 50th live call. And as we get to the end of the year, I want to congratulate you, um, the listener, or if you're watching, on making the weekly commitment to this call and never missing a Monday. Because if coaching is your side hustle, then showing up consistently is the best thing that you can do for your business. So I appreciate those of you that have been uh, listening on the podcast or coming to this call. It's been a real pleasure. And we've got two more weeks of the year. So uh, I've got a winning answer from the question last week. Let me just, hopefully I read off your name. Uh, last week I asked, what is the new name for Super Saturday? We decided to up the excitement and change the name from Super Saturday to what? Was it Super Beach Day, Super Weekend, or Super Huddle? And of course, it's Super Weekend. Uh, that just means that you have a super weekend either on a Friday or a Saturday or Sunday, but it is an incredible weekend of activities. So the winning answer came from an Emerald coach named Michelle Finkelstein from New York, no, North York, Ontario, Canada. Congratulations to you. Now, if you want to win something from our Utah prize closet, all you have to do is listen or watch uh, this call and answer with the winning answer. So I've got a question for you today. And if you watched last week, Shanti was on this call, this national wake-up call, and he talked a lot about the three stages of the program Transform 20. What are those three stages, okay? That was last week, Shanti, on the call. That was an awesome call. And he talked about the three stages of Transform 20. So that is it. We are top of the hour. Let me start the call officially for the podcast Good morning, coaches. This is your wake up call. Today's Monday, December 10th. And I've got a few announcements for you. So let me get that going. Share my screen with everybody today. And get out of the way with my video. So here we go. Number one, Transform 20. Um, we had an explosive start. So start, be starch. That's what happened with me this weekend. Too much starch. We had an explosive start. So be sure to leverage the $20 off all Transform 20 packs and get people in and ready to start on January 14th. Uh, the demand has been high, but we have plenty of steps left and we'll keep you informed if we see any issues with step inventory. So that's a step update. All right. Coaches who purchase Transform 20 offers between December 4th and January 31st will get access to that Sean T exclusive coach test group, which kicks off January 14th, but there is a prep week that starts January 7th. So come on, what are you waiting for? Get in to that group. Plus free sample workout and two prep workouts with any product purchase are available on BOD. Uh, I think that should say December 11th. Okay. Who's going to correct me on that? Cause I think it's not January 11th. It's December 11th, right? Isn't that tomorrow? Yes. Sorry, guys. So that's December 11th. That's tomorrow. I love how I'm correcting myself live on camera here. Uh, marketing and training tools are available in the coach office. Plus, training videos are always on the champions page. If you don't know what the champions page is, get into it. It's a Facebook group that's really only for champions. And I think that's you. So here we go. Energize stick packs, which I think I put way too many in my drink this morning. Anyway, Beachbody Performance Energize Lemon is now available in 32 easy pour single serving stick packs. Make sure your customers and coaches know this option is available with Transform 20 bundles. 
These are available in the U.S. and Canada as a one-time order or monthly subscription. Last but not least, this is my last announcement for today is the holiday flash sale. So treat yourself to 40% off, <laughs> treat yourself and others um, to the full price apparel, 40% off all full priced apparel styles during this holiday flash sale. They're available in the Team Beachbody store from December 7th through the 14th. I'll stop sharing and come back and just say, phew. <laughs> so those are the announcements for today. And uh, hey, let's just, uh, I think there's another surprise announcement. So let me just, oh, oh, yes. Let me unmute you. Hey, Sandy, you're wrapping up the announcements and I have a big announcement. Am, am I unmuted? Can I be heard? You are unmuted. And why don't you take it away, right. Carl? Let me be heard. As you know, and we make a joke about all the time is uh, as the weekend's going along, I'll look at the reports and see what activities are like and uh, see comments from coaches. And we got together early Sunday morning and we decided to throw together another end of the year promotion uh, that, that uh, this is actually the first announcement now. We call this promotion end the year with a, end the year with a start, okay? So if you are a newer coach or if you're a coach who's never sold a challenge pack, I will be choosing 10 coaches a day through the end of the year who have sold their first challenge pack in December. And I'll be sending you a hundred dollars, a note, a little personalized note. It'll actually have your name in it and so I'll sign it. And I'll send you a frame. This is coated with plastic. It's actually prettier than this. A frame to put it in, or you can put a picture of your family in and spend the money and shred the note. So that's what we're doing. So if you have never, or you know of a coach in your downline, that's probably more appropriate for this group. If you know of any new coaches, even if they sign up this month and they sell a challenge pack to help somebody get started with their health and fitness, I'm going to think they could be picked as one of the 10 people per day through the end of the year. They get a hundred bucks, a note and a frame. All right. I'll do a post on my Instagram now because I don't know if I'm explaining it that well. Uh, so, but that's it. You got a chance. 10 people right now are going to be picked today all the way through 1231. All right, Sandy, that's my big news. Take it away. Awesome. Okay. I thought you were going to throw to Jeff, but that's totally oh. okay. But let me do this. Let me introduce. <laughs> Very well done. And I'm sure on Instagram, you'll do more. So congratulations, everybody. You've got a big chance to win a hundred bucks from Carl. And let me just go ahead and introduce to you our president of global sales, Jeff Hill. We, there's no question that we are a well-oiled machine on Monday mornings. Uh, absolutely riveting. And that's a great promotion. So what that means is there's 210 coaches that can earn a hundred bucks in that note from Carl on that frame. So uh, pretty incredible. So make sure you're out there taking advantage of that, of that promo. You know, Carl talked about, you know, the, the calls on Sunday morning, like this is our wake up call. Many times we get a wake up call Sunday morning from Carl with some of these ideas and they're always great ones, but coaches, welcome to our wake up call. And there's some great things happening at Transform 20, absolutely amazing. Hopefully you are taking advantage of that uh, this month and it continues. So uh, make sure you're talking to people. And in fact, our call today with Micah Folsom is going to be about leveraging the next 21 days, what you can do, how you should approach it and the benefits that that will pay off. If you're really serious about what your purpose is, what your goals are and what you want to achieve through the end of the year and for the beginning of next year. So I hope you've got your pens ready and you're ready to rock and roll on the 10th of December, but let's get started with recognition as we normally do. And I'm going to toss it over to Darren to take that away. So Darren, all yours, bud. Hey, thanks, Jeff. I really appreciate it. Good morning and good morning coaches. All right, so we can give Micah plenty of time. We're gonna jump right in here. I'm gonna mute my screen here and let's get going with our newest Diamond Coaches this week. Congratulations to Nicole Allen in a secondary CBC, Rachel Baldwin, Chelsea Borsma from the UK, Isabel Bradshaw from Canada, Marie-Pierre Bujol, Pillar Clavijo, Arwen Collins in a secondary CBC, Sarah Cronin, Jennifer DaCosta from Canada in a secondary CBC, Christina Delaportes. 
Kinsley Dodson, Alisa, Alyssa Eskin Rosenblatt, Michaela Faye Gerdes, in a secondary CBC, Sarah Griffith, Courtney Harden from Canada, Sarah Hilpert, Christopher Hybers, uh, Mary Jane Hines, Nicole King from Canada, Tyson Klein, Anya Kranicki, uh, Connie Cross, Angela Kurzawa, Michelle Cutts, Ashley LaFrance, Mary Larson, Gabrielle Lassiter, Melissa McQueenie, Amy Mefford, Daniela Mir, Amanda Mock, uh, Jennifer Peterson, Randy Pittner, Karen, Rora Bacher, Madeline Schoten, Denise uh, Sehovic, Zach Zachary Skipper, Lauren Smith, Jacqueline Sparatino, Leslie Urbis, Ashley Williams, Candace Weissman, and Brittany Werdeman. All right, now for our new Star Diamond coaches. Here they are. Congratulations to Faith Austin from Canada, Michelle Ayers, Nicole Bays, Kelly Bray in a secondary CBC, Stephanie Carlstedt, Rachel DiMatteo from Canada, Marilyn Gain, Megan Hansons, Danielle Latulipe, Jenna Lockhart, Christina Mazzarito in a secondary CBC, Melissa McAllister from Canada in a secondary CBC, Emily Robida, Rosie, uh, Rosie Roop in a secondary CBC, Megan Strumpf and Aaron Trier. Now, our newest two-star diamond coaches, here they are in a secondary CBC. Congratulations to Tracy Balderack and Heather Ann Pettit. Good job, guys. Now for our new three-star diamonds, we have three this week. Congratulations to Julie Kemp, Allison uh, Navarro, and Lourdes Rivera. And jumping to five-star diamond coaches, also with three new of those this week. Congratulations, Victoria Lay, Lindsay Maloney, and Lillian Osborne. Now we're going to jump all the way up to an 11-star diamond coach, and that would be none other than Amber Kuiper. Congratulations, Amber. And coaches, we have a new 13-star diamond coach this week. Congratulations to Amy Rada. Way to go, Amy. All right. That is it for success or for rakes. Now on to success club points for the week. And on top of that list, congratulations to Cindy Tremblay, Ashley Smith, Jessica Nelson, Jess Dukes, and Tanya Barron. And let me tell you, those numbers of success club points were out of this world this week. So congratulations, guys. Way to go. That's it for recognition today. Congratulations to everyone on the call. And don't ever forget to make it a happy, fantastic week this week. Jeff, back to you. Darren, I don't know if we can allow you to throw in more adjectives like a happy, fantastic <laughs> week. I mean, just making it fantastic is tough enough, but uh, way to bring a little joy to this call this morning. Uh, and congratulations to everyone that moved their businesses forward. Okay, coaches, we have an absolutely incredible coach on the call today. Uh, Micah Folsom started coaching about five and a half years ago. She is a superstar two-diamond coach, a four-time elite coach. She currently serves on our coach advisory board, uh, a great mind, really knows the business, breaks it apart, and really helps us make good decisions and provides great insights. She's been in Success Club for over 60, I guess not over, but 65 consecutive months, which of course makes her a Success Club all-star legend. And uh, right now she is right up at the top of the leaders board for Elite. She's saying number 11 right now, that could change, but that is pretty incredible. And she is always right at the top. So uh, we're thrilled to have Micah, you on the call today. And so everybody knows she is in Rexburg, Idaho. and. Just how warm is it there? Or maybe just how cold is it there? It's 13 today, so it could be There's, worse. Right, right now, everybody else just got a little more grateful for where they're living. <laughs> I you know, know, right? So, anyway, but hey, Michael, welcome to the call. And congratulations on all the success you've enjoyed over the last you know, five and a half years, and you're going to tell a little bit of your story here, but I'm going to just tell everybody right now, as you listen to Michael, one of the things that I really appreciate about her is she is a straight shooter. Um, one of the keys to her success is she works hard, she's disciplined, she's bright, um, but she also is a straight shooter and knows how to focus on the things that matter most, and that's really what this call is about, is squeezing the most out of this next 21 days, but then how that lays the foundation and developing the discipline for the future. But okay, so I've done enough preamble there, Micah. Um, you, giving you a chance to warm your hands up. Who, who are you? How did you get to be a beach body coach? Oh man. Okay. So I was introduced to beach body. It was over nine years ago and 
it wasn't through a coach or anything. I found, I found the 10 minute trainer on an infomercial in the middle of the night. Um, we had just moved across the country to Miami, Florida from Utah. And I had a seven week old baby. So my husband was playing football. We were cooped up in a hotel room for training camp. And I had reached the point, like I said, my baby was seven weeks old. So I was like, I need to do something. I need to lose this baby weight. And I saw that infomercial, did the 10 minute trainer, actually got great results with it. And then since I knew a DVD program could work for me, I saw Insanity after I was done, got that um, and was obsessed with those workouts, but I never finished them ever to this day. I still haven't finished the full round of Insanity. And I would do it off and on. And I did that for like three or four years and would tell everyone about it. Everyone knew that that insanity works because I told them it did. And I ended up having another baby. I was then a full-time wedding photographer. My husband had stopped playing football and was in his third year of veterinary school. So at that point we were living in Oklahoma and I once again found myself needing to lose the baby weight. And I was kind of burnt out of starting and stopping insanity. So I was just looking for a new program. Um, was I turned to Beachbody because I knew it worked for me in the past. And I saw my coaches challenge group post on Instagram, reached out to her, got into her group. And it was about a week into the challenge that I really fell in love with Shakeology. And so Shakeology is what got me into the door of coaching because I just wanted that discount. I wanted the discount, um, fell in love with how it made me feel. And then I ended up falling in love with the overall process of just creating these new habits. And when I learned that in order to build a business, I had to continue those habits and I had to continue to grow. And I also had to be able to impact others. I just fell in love with every aspect of it. So that's what got me in the door, but then that's what keeps me showing up five and a half years in. Well, and I hope that the coaches were listening to all of the things that you had on your plate as you were building this business. And I remember talking to you a few times in the early, early days when you were down in Oklahoma in, you know, in vet school, being a photographer, coming, you know, new babies, you know, all of those things that, um, you know, can tend to get in the way and, and clutter, clutter up life for sure. Um, but somehow, some way, you develop the discipline and the habits of creating a great business. Now, so here we are. Carl just got on and talked about, you know, the last 21 days of the month. We're right on the brink of the holidays. And uh, for a lot of coaches, I know there's this moment of truth, whether they'll admit it or not, where they're going, okay, what am I going to do? Am I going to do a full court press or am I going to maybe just, maybe I'll just kind of enjoy so this call today is about what you can do in the next 21 days and no one better than you to uh, address that, Micah. So why don't you take it away with what you do and how, what you believe other coaches can do to create results. Okay. So I'm actually really, really excited to talk about this topic because I will be the first one to tell you that I am obsessed with the holiday season. You guys, I'm like, Hallmark obsessed, decoration obsessed, want to make all the memories. Like I get it. I get why coaches get to this point and then go, oh, I'm just going to check out for a couple months because it usually starts back in like October, let's be honest. And they go, I'm just going to check out and I'm going to get back to the coaching thing in January. And every time this happens, I just want to shake people and go, you can't do this. This is when you build your momentum for all of next year. And if you want to be able to have the free time and have the maybe extra finances to really enjoy the holidays and to make those memories, you got to do the grind. You got to put in the work first. And so when they asked me to speak about finishing strong and kind of what that looks like, I got super excited. So I, I, I kind of wrote it up because I got to stay on track. Otherwise I will like go off like crazy. So I'm, I'm just super excited. I know that I'm preaching to the choir because you guys are the ones on the call. You guys are the ones making this a priority, showing up, carving out time, and you're here. The ones that probably need to hear this a little bit more have already checked out and they might listen to the recording in like February, but that's beside the point. So first I want you guys to be proud of yourself for being here because you could be elsewhere. So congratulate yourself for being here. And now let's put in the work to really make your time worth it. Okay. Because it can become a vicious cycle if year after year after year, you do the checkout through the holidays, get back at it through January. That's hard to come out of. That's hard to 
um, ever make up for. And if you're doing this business, then, then you might as well reap the benefits of it and not make it harder on yourself. There's an easy way to build the business and there's a hard way to build the business. And I can promise you, if I've mastered one thing in this business, it's consistency. And it's not consistent consistency with everything all of the time. It's consistency with the most essential things sprinkled in with seasons of hustle when you can really spend more time diving in and building more momentum to carry you through these seasons. And right now, these last three weeks of the year is that time when we can kind of put our nose to the grindstone and we can get super intentional and super disciplined and we can still grow, grow our businesses and still enjoy the holidays. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys three things today that we can all do to really, um, make that happen for ourselves. So the first thing that every single one of us can do is we can commit to ourselves. We can commit to our personal journey and we can commit to our business. And that's the first thing that has to happen because unless you have that mindset shift of I am doing this, then everything else will take precedence and it will be way too easy to just check out. Okay. So the first thing that I want you to do is commit or maybe even recommit to your workouts, to your nutrition plan, and to your personal growth. Because I can tell you right now that if one of those things slips in my personal journey, I feel it in my business all of the time. Not, not just sometimes. There is a direct correlation between my workouts, my nutrition, and my, my personal growth to my business. If you aren't getting results and if you're not feeling good yourself, then it's going to be really, really hard to show up with energy and enthusiasm about these solutions that you have to impact other people. So that's the first thing that you can do to really ramp up your business is go, okay, I'm going all in with number one. I'm going all in with me. What can I do to get results between now and the end of the year? Share it every single day. Be so consistent and let people know I'm the one that you want to work with at the new year, because no matter what, People are making their choice now who they're going to who they're going to work with in January or whether they're going to get a gym pass that maybe they don't use again or whether they sign up with another coach or do another thing. They need to be seeing you leading from the front, getting results, sprinkling what you're doing, not like over the top selling them all this stuff all of the time, but just being authentic to your journey and sharing it through the holidays. That's the first thing that we can do to really leverage this time and to get massive momentum building through the end of the year. Okay. Number two is, um, okay. During the holidays, especially, and like I talked about, there's times when you can have seasons of hustle and seasons of, um, spending more time learning new things and developing new skills and implementing new systems. Now is not that time. So my number, my number two tip is less is more through the holidays. So what does that mean? I mean, it's like I said, it's not the time to learn new tricks. It is the time to figure out what actually drives your business and getting laser focused on those things every single day. And when I say every single day, I don't work on Sunday. So every single day that you work, and hopefully it's five to six days a week, okay? If you want to really build this and make something of it, get really focused on those things. It, you don't need to um, go over the top or, or spend a ton of time making a new website or making fancy graphics or doing those things that are kind of just fluffy time fillers. You can do those things in like March or April, okay? Put them on a back burner until then. Today and through the holidays when we really only have maybe an hour, two, three hours, whatever your days look like, you need to be super intentional with the things that drive your business. So I call those things and they're well known as the IPAs, the income producing activities. Because if we're not producing an income, you guys, you're not growing a business. We're not just here to play on social media and look like we have a lot of likes and whatever. If we actually want to build a business, we have to be getting our products and solutions in the hands of people to impact their life. We have to. And I know that it's kind of a, it's kind of a fine line because yes, we want to help people. Yes, we want to inspire. And that's what we're here for. And that's what drives us. 
but we can only inspire people so much based off our own journey. We have to then get a solution in their hands so they can make changes in their own lives and we have to be there to support them. So that's the number two thing. Figure out today, make a game plan. What actually grows your business? It's getting new challengers and getting new coaches started. So what are the things that you have to do each day in order to do that? For me, it's expanding my network. I have to be getting new eyeballs on what I'm sharing. I have to be building solid relationships and going deep into those, into those connections so that I can get to know people and I can hear their problems and I can hear their struggles and I can say, hey, I have something that works for me. I think it could really be something that blesses your life. And unless you're in those conversations with people, you're just going to get stuck in salesy mode, in salesy mode, trying to, trying to throw something at the wall and seeing what sticks. If you get into conversations with people and you get to know who they are and get to know what they need, guys, we have something that can literally change anyone's life, whether it's the fitness aspect, the nutrition aspect, the mindset, the financial opportunity, the, the community, like we have something that everyone, in my opinion, needs in their life and everyone will benefit from. So the more conversations you get into with people, the easier it is to bring up and say, Hey, I have something that could totally bless your life. Have you ever looked into doing this? And it's really simple. So that's one of the things that I do every day. I'm in connect. I'm in conversations with new people, getting to know them. I'm inviting people to join me. And you guys right now is like prime real estate for inviting people because I know it's the holidays. I know some people are like, Oh, I don't want to say anything because it's Christmas coming up and no one wants to do anything right now. But this, like I said, this is when you are planting all of your seeds to find the right people who are going to be ready at some point, whether or not they're ready now, whether or not they're ready January one, whether or not they're ready in six years. The real question is, are you going to be around long enough showing up when they're ready? Because I will not tell you how many times I get reached out to and they'll say, well, I was working with someone, but now I went to do something and they're not there. Like they're not doing anything anymore. And I'm like, ah, like you guys are missing the boat. Just show up fall in love with the process, commit to doing these things each day, and you will be able to help people every single month when you continue to do these things. And right now, like I said, is the season of planting seeds all over the place because people are going to be ready in January. Most people are going to look for something in January. So we need to be doing those things and inviting and then following up with people are some of the most important things that we need to be doing every single day right now through the holidays. I'm giving you guys permission to invite as many people as you can genuinely to join you on this journey, to lock arms with you, to change their life. Okay. All right. And the number three thing. So less is more. Got off a little tangent. Less is more. Be super di disciplined, super intentional, doing the most important things. Okay. Number three is bring the joy, have fun and get creative. So you're probably like, wait, but you just told me to do the basics and you just told me to do the essentials, but now you're telling me to bring the joy and get creative and have fun. How am I even supposed to do that? But I can promise you guys that if you're not having fun in this business, you're not going to show up and do it because you can only make yourself do things you hate for so long. And then you're going to get sick of it. And then you're going to peace out for good. So I'm trying to help you nip that in the bud early because you need to make this fun. It can be fun. You can do this business how you want to do it. There's some very simple things, the vital behaviors that drive your business. Absolutely. But you can do those things however you want to do it, whatever works right for you, whether you're sending um, direct messages on Instagram, whether you're doing a video message, whether you're doing stories, whether you're doing a YouTube video and making a sales page. Like there's so many different ways to invite people to join us. So you get to find out what works best for you, what feels good, what, what lights your fire and you get to do more of that. So I'm giving you permission once again, to be creative, to let your creative juices flow, to find what lights your soul on fire. Cause when you do, you'll do the things that you need to do in your business every single day because you're going to love it and you're going to be fired up to do it. Um, 
one of the things that that I put on here that I wanted to make sure that I told you guys, okay, now I can't even find it, is that, okay, there's, there's a million different things that we can do every single day as coaches to build our business. There are, and you hear this from coaches all the time. I feel like I'm overwhelmed because there's so many different things and I get distracted. And that's what I'm talking about when you get, need to get laser focused, but you can get super intentional and you can get, and you can find out, okay, perfect example. Right now in this season of December, I need to get more eyeballs on my stuff. I need to build more relationships and I need to bring in more challengers and coaches. But I realize that people probably aren't going to be super pumped to buy a challenge pack or wanting to start their journey right now, a couple weeks before Christmas. So what I do every December, because it just makes sense in my brain and it brings me joy and it makes it fun is I do a free 12 days of Christmas group and I make it fun and it's free and it's adding value and it's building relationships. And it's just a fun way to stay connected with people through the, these two weeks before Christmas, which could be really slow and it could be really easy to check out because people aren't signing up and they aren't getting started. It would be really easy to just say, well, I'm just going to wait until after the holidays to do anything. But instead I get a little bit creative. I make it a little bit fun. I, I do things that are driving my business forward, meeting new people, adding value, connecting with people, and then getting people in the door so that I can get to know them and figure out if I have something that fits them come January for my January group. So that's what I mean by having fun, getting creative. This is the time when you can do that, but you can also make sure it's with intention. It's doing things that are going to drive your business forward. Okay. So right now in this season that we're in, this is our preseason. So in the NFL, this is, this is September. This is August. When we're doing our preseason games, we're getting ready. We're going through the lineup. We're seeing what works, what doesn't. But you guys, January is game on. That is when our big season is. And if you're not in preseason, learning what works, making those tweaks, building that solid foundation, building those relationships, planting those seeds, you're going to come January and you're going to go, wait, it's supposed to be this big fitness boom. This is when my business is supposed to take off and you're going to flatline and nothing's going to happen. And that's because right now is when you build that momentum. Okay. So we're at a crossroad. You can, like I talked about, you can do one of two things. You can kind of check out, slow down, wait till after the holidays. And you can do that um, over and over every single year and make it really hard on yourself. Or you can actually put your CEO hat on and treat this like a business and show up with intention and carve out an hour or two a day, every day through the holidays so that you can build this incredible business create time freedom, create financial freedom, create all of these things that you want for your family, make it worth it. But it takes time through these weeks when it would be a lot easier to check out. It takes being intentional and disciplined now. Okay. So I want you to ask yourself, what can you do today to get in front of more people? What can you do today to build more solid relationships? What can you do today to get fully on board with the Transform 20 launch, to go all in with it, to hype the crap out of it, and to get as many people on this in this program with you to make your biggest January group ever crushing this program. Sean T, I was in a test group, and he talks about upping your cadence. He talks about what can you do to up your cadence? Don't just go with the flow. Keep your rhythm the same. Because if you do what you've always done, you're going to get what you've always get what you've always gotten. And if you want to really rise up and up the ante on your life and take your life to the next level, then you've got to take yourself to the next level first. And that takes upping our cadence, learning how to really, um, like I talked about, just really be so disciplined in our actions and in the way that we show up for our business and for our family and for our everything that we have in life. We get to learn skills in this business, you guys that trickle into every aspect of our life. So I'm challenging you guys to take the time today to map out your month. What does it look like? What can you do to make these last three weeks your biggest three weeks of the entire year that will then launch you into your biggest January of your entire coaching career, 
Okay, that's the power of what we have right now. And I want this for all of you because it is 100% possible. So I'm challenging, that, challenging you guys to just work a little smarter rather than working harder and driving your face into the ground and feeling like you hate your life. Because I promise you, none of us signed up to work all of the time and be stressed out and all of the, those things through the holidays. We worked because we want freedom and we want to help and we want to impact and we want purpose. And you can do that and you can enjoy the holidays. It's just going to take a little bit of discipline and I promise you guys are fully capable. Okay. Micah, fantastic. And with, I'm amazed that your lips could move when it's only 13 degrees that they're not frozen, <laughs> but Hey, but in all seriousness, what a great call, because I mean, when you think about the number of days that are left in the month, and this is the most overwhelming time for people in the entire year, more, more clutter, more programs, kids, things, church, things, community things. And if you're going to be successful, this does demand more focus. And what that requires you to do is to focus on the things that matter most. And that is, like you said, to think fewer. And so you got to take the time that you can devote and focus on the activities that are going to create the greatest results. That's, that's good old business 101 with the Pareto principle, that the greatest results are going to come from a minority of things that you do. And as you talked about, that is inviting and getting in front of people and getting, getting them into your groups. And you know, people will ask me all the time, you know, what four vital behaviors, which one's the most important? And a lot of times people will go with, well, it's personal development or it's this. And to me, where the business is built is around inviting. That's the one skill. Everything else leads to that that you've got to do. So if you're going to be successful in this month, you've got to really be focusing on that activity uh, to keep your business going through the end of the year. And like you say, hit the ground running come December. I mean, you know, the other thing when you talk about bring, bringing joy in the business, I mean, think about it. Who wants to do business? Who wants to be a partner with someone that's just a, a grump, right? You know, who wants to do business where they're not having fun, you know, in this business? So you do have to bring joy to this business as you move forward. And, and also typically in my life, when I found joy, it's when I'm doing the things that are productive, when I'm helping other people. And so if you're doing that the right way and your head and your heart's in the right place, you'll have joy as you become more, more productive. So uh, you, you nailed it, Micah. It's, it's, I hope people are going to take some time today and ask themselves, am I committed? No, seriously, am I committed to finishing this year strong? And what am I committed to doing? And what activities am I going to focus on? Those core, core activities, they're going to income producing activities. And then am I going to have fun while I do it? Okay. Those aren't complicated, but they'll take a little bit of focus and a little bit of discipline, but results are on the other side of that. So uh, well done, Micah. So let's just kind of wrap up with, with this. You talked a little bit about what people deserve and about this not being your life, that people do this because they want something more. How has your life changed? What's, what have you created through your Beachbody business? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Our life has changed like completely. So it's hard to just kind of pick one thing, but as we're in this season of the holidays, um, it just kind of takes me back to how we felt the first few years of our marriage when it literally was so stressful, so stressful. I was like in this mindset of we were super frugal. We were, we couldn't spend, we didn't have like, oh, it was just so stressful through the holidays. And obviously through hard work and, and really being consistent with this and building this over the past five and a half years, like we're at a completely different place now. And the holidays are a time for joy and for giving and for um, doing the things and having that, the extra income to make those memories. And we just got back Yesterday, we just took a quick trip to Jackson Hole with my, with, with our little family because we wanted to make some memories that our kids can look back on forever. And I just, it's just the feeling of being in this place after being in that stressed out, um, just not fun place is so different. And I want this for everyone because it just makes money doesn't buy happiness but oh my gosh, it makes it a whole lot easier to live 
freely and to do the things you love with the people you love. And we have this gift to create the life we want, whether or not you take it and do what you can with it is up to every single one of us. And that's the beauty of it. But our life is completely different. The way we live our life, the things that we're able to do. And I'm just so thankful every single day that I said yes. And that not only did I say yes, but I have shown up every single day since I started. And every one of us has that choice to do the same thing that I've done. Well, uh, great, great close. And, and you know, as you started this call, you said one of the things you've perfected is consistency in this business. And I think that is also something that uh, everybody can do if they focus on the right things and if they have the right, the right purpose. And as you just talked about, you know, it is about creating memories. It's about, it's about creating moments in life and, and enjoying those pieces. I tell people all the time, beach body shouldn't be your life, but it sure can help you get a life. Uh, and uh, that's just really what you described there. So, Micah, thank you so much for being on the call today. You put a little fire into our Monday morning, which we absolutely needed, and into December. Uh, so thanks for your example and all that you do. Thanks, Jeff. All right. Okay, coaches, I don't need to say anything more. Uh, you got it from Micah. It is about taking today and getting into those activities, committing, and then running uh, and, and making it happen. So she gave you permission to act take advantage of that permission and go out and start inviting and make sure you finish the year strong. So Sandy, I'll toss it back to you. Thanks, Jeff. I was just thinking at the top of the call when I talked about consistency, consistency, doing the same thing day in, day out, every single week, it can get mundane. But if you listen to Shanti saying, you know, you want to do the best that you can do, keep pushing yourself. It's about consistency, but it's also about reaching more. Otherwise, it's just, you know, insanity. It's just mundane. So keep pushing yourself. Have an incredible week, everybody. Bye-bye.